Hi everyone, I'm here with the Shova Robotics Team 1768 at the Week Zero event. They're going to take us through their robot, their intake, their shooter, and their potential for a trap mechanism. Coming up next on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support funds content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and fund members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. So, to accomplish the main goals of the game, can you, can you pick this up? To accomplish the main goals of the game, we have our shooter, which is in charge of shooting into our speaker. Okay. We have we have our loader, which is in charge of feeding our shooter. And this loader is in charge of taking in from the source, from the player input, and also eventually it will be in charge of scoring into the trap. And our ground intake, which is down here. Can you bring this up higher, Yi? So our ground intake here, we, it's an under the bumper intake and we take it in pretty close to the center of our robot where it intercepts this loader. So it's kind of a three stage process from floor intake to loader to shooter. And um, we use, we're using Krakens all around. We have Falcons for all of our roller drive systems and um, Krakens on the swerves. And we also, um, we have beautiful guitar plates, which it's kind of our pride and joy, but making it work is obviously more important. But anything we want to touch on next? Something we had to do this year, as you may notice out front here, we have a couple of our um, Krakens flipped, which is not, it's of course, not stock for the swerve modules. So we had to remanufacture a bottom plate for these so that we are able to um, intake the note without compressing on the sides, which solves a lot of problems. Um, so we had to manufacture new place to modify the sword modules to accommodate for that. Um, we do all of our manufacturing in-house. Um, we have an Omeo, um, not a big one, but yeah. So everything on a robot designed, manufactured by us. Can you show us how you intake the note and go? it goes through the robot? Okay. So. To do this, we have to lift it a little, but yeah. Okay, wait, retry. Okay, hopefully it works. So, in terms of how our shooter rollers work, during our prototyping stage, we found that putting spin on the note is pretty important to allow it to shoot in a straight line. So one way that we decided that, that we could accomplish that is by putting rollers on one side to give all of, the, um, all of the drive just on one side of the note. But some of the unwanted like uh, consequences of doing that is our note kind of shoots out in the angle. So that's something that we definitely have to look at fixing. And we're also, there's a lot of prototyping that still needs to be done. Thinking about putting rollers on both sides, like I've seen a lot of robots do today. And also, or also just dialing in the best way to put rollers on one side. And um, is that it? So you mentioned the ability to do the trap, but you don't have a climber on here. Right, yes. Where's so your thinking with that? For week zero, we, we prioritized having functionality in our shooter systems and the climber it's gonna be a drum that's gonna be down here in this space here that uses webbing to loop up to another drum or pulley that, uh, that is a spring that brings the spring up here. And we wind the drum down to bring, our, to bring the chain to this corner right here. So then our, our arm can swing out. You wanna swing it out, Yi? To the top. So our arm can swing out and then this loader is gonna pivot out forwards and 
this arm would be a little bit further forward, but it would allow us to get a, a downward shot while still pushing open the, the trap uh, door. Very cool. So, a lot of things on this robot, a lot of things that are in communication with each other. Can you tell us a little bit more about the programming that went into this robot? Sure. I can talk a bit about the control. One thing this year especially that we didn't really have last year are cameras. We were testing a bunch with the Limelight 3 last year, but we couldn't get it to work very well with April Tags. This year we're running a couple orange pies with Photon Vision and we're connecting a few Ardu cams to it. We're planning in total of having three April Tag cameras, two on the front just for shooting, one in the back for the source especially. Uh, and then we're planning on have another camera facing down for object detection. We have a few initial programs on that running and they all seem to work pretty well. Uh, moving on to our actual programming of the robot. This year we're trying to structure our code in, in such a way that our robot is a finite state machine. It can really only be in a few couple positions, so we're running it like that. Every time we tell the robot to do something, it's a we run a sequential command that tells different things to do things, especially with the way we designed this loader this year. We can't run into the robot if our loader is out, so we have to make sure every single time that our loader is back in. Also, the way we designed the um, uh, intake loader part here. If the note we are, sorry, let me go to source height. At source height, if we feed a note in, oh, do you have a note? If we feed a note in, it stops right here. But if we send a arm back in, this note is going to hit the intake. So if you note, the first thing this should do is the loader is going to pivot inside and it's going to run this into the shoe. Like that. So we essentially just had to structure all of our code this year to be a lot safer. Uh, we're planning on putting, or if you notice, we don't have any absolute encoders on here yet. We're planning uh, in future weeks to actually throw one on there so we can get more accurate control of our arm. So far, it's been working pretty well, but we're having some trouble zeroing it. Um, aside from that, we got two, was it reflective sensors on here for detecting the note. They seem to work pretty well for us so far. And yeah, that's about it. Cool. Well, thank you very much, 1768. Really looking forward to seeing you guys this season. We've had a really nice run these past few years and looking forward to it. So good luck in the 2024 season and at the rest of the event. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.